Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. It's another Tuesday night live stream, so we're back in our little oxygen world. Uh, or lack of oxygen world, I guess, half the time. Uh, but we're going to build a new colony today. I decided, since I've been playing around with the new features that are in the latest update, the Outbreak upgrade, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe go back and start a new colony. The last couple streams we did, I was just kind of uh, toying around with the different new buildings they added and trying to learn about the different features. And then I've done some playing since then. You might have seen... A little tutorial I put out about how to manage the germs and how to uh, try to control your progression so that you're not having too many issues with slime lung. Uh, but I thought it'd be really cool if we went back and tried out uh, a brand new world. And it would probably help if I clicked off the overlay so we can actually see the game. <laughs> so welcome everyone to the stream. Uh, a bunch of you were here early as always. That's fantastic. I love getting a chance to kind of chat with everyone a little bit before the stream starts. Um... Thumb, yeah, thumbnail is still a screen focus, but I've got that fixed now. Uh, so we're going to start a new colony today. We'll jump in right away and get a new game going. I'm just going to use the standard settings. At some point in the future, we might use some of the custom settings so we can kind of muck around with it and make it a little bit more challenging if we get to the point where we are tackling all the germs really easily. Uh, now, I mean, some of the germs are actually really easy to handle. When you get down to the point of trying to control things like uh, the food poisoning... It's kind of like a, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I think we'll do okay in that regard. And really a lot of it will just be around trying to manage um, manage the slime lung as we progress. Uh, so we'll start off a brand new colony. Uh, I think we're going to try and get a mix of people in here. So I want someone who has... Uh, actually, this one's really good. Lots of tinkering. They're a narcoleptic, which isn't fantastic. But I'm going to pick them anyway. Uh, and this first person... Uh, I decided I'm just going to... I went back and I looked through the chat. And I'm going to grab the first three people that were in the chat tonight. Um, so this will be... Oops. If I could help if I could spell. Critical Duplicant. Um, we have an artist, which is fantastic. I would like that. And this person's yokel, so they won't be able to do the research. But that doesn't present too many challenges for me. This will be Caitlin. There you go, Caitlin Roberts. There we go. And then we'll have one more duplicate in here. And I think I'd like to get somebody who has... Well, this person has medicine, so that's not so bad. Uh, I want someone with good research ability. Uh, let's see. I thought it was cooking construction. Tinkering. Where is the research in here? I'm, like, totally blind or something. Athletics instruction, cooking, creativity, digging, immunity, learning. There we go. Gosh. <laughs> Apparently, I need some learning. <laughs> Come back from Disney World. Welcome back from Disney World. That's pretty cool. I like Disney World. It's pretty sweet. Uh, interior decorator, a narcoleptic. I can't. I don't really want to deal with two narcoleptics right off the bat. So let's try to switch this around. I want someone who has decent learning, uh, and actually decent art skills would be good too. Uh, plus two creativity here. Plus five creativity. So Caitlin can tackle ta ta that. She's already the artist. Uh, so let's just look for someone with good learning. Get some good book smarts in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, biohazardous, though. This person's going to get immune system strength minus 4% per cycle. Not really cool with that. I don't want to make it too difficult on myself to start off with because I'm still kind of getting the hang of all the different tweaks and stuff that it's in here. So let's see. Uh, actually, this is a good one. Oh, they're a yokel, though. Uh, they have extra learning, but they're a yokel, so they can't do research. That makes no sense to me. Plus 4 learning, plus 1 immunity, plus tinkering. Again, yokel. Come on. Two learning, eight medicine, another narcoleptic. Three learning, seven medicine with a gastrophobia. So this person won't be able to cook, but they can actually do really well with the medicine and learning. Um, all right. We'll take this one. I don't want to keep flipping through here forever. This one will be Super One. And then we'll get a name for our camp. The Plucky Pit, Hapless Space Camp, the Future Trainwreck. Oh, there, that is the perfect name right there. <laughs> We're going to take the Future Trainwreck will be our colony for tonight. Ah, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Um, so I enjoy when they do updates on the game because it gives you a chance to kind of try out a bunch of new different things. Uh, experiment with stuff that, uh, that you might not have played around with before. And the, the whole new challenge that's involved in running into new running into new issues and things, it's just, I don't know, I get a, I get a kick out of it. So it's been, a, it's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, it looks like we have a reasonable amount of starting water this time, whereas in the last colony we were pretty low on water, but it's just kind of laid out really weird. So one of the earliest things we're going to try and do is get the water to come down below. <laughs> it's not a train wreck yet. That's right. It's only just started. We've got plenty of time for it to be a train wreck, folks. <laughs> yeah, going off the rails in the crazy, like a crazy, uh, like a crazy train. Exactly. 
So when I started playing this the last time, I really had no sense of how the whole germ system was going to work. Um, I had a, a general idea of, of how it was kind of laid out, but not really how to go about dealing with it and what the impact would be on the duplicants. And it it turns out when you go through, like reading a lot of comments that people have had on trying to manage the changes to the game, it sounds like a lot of people are having trouble with the germs, but it seems like as long as you're just kind of careful and progressive as you move forward, you don't try to expand super fast into the areas that have slime lung, it doesn't seem as though it should be super difficult to manage. Um, we're going to find out soon enough, I think, but it seems, I think for the most part we'll be able to, to kind of get ahead here. I want to get into research as soon as possible. And Oh, wow, look at that. We have a... This swamp biome is really close, actually. I feel like the little starting area looks smaller this time. Maybe it's just me. Doesn't seem as wide as I feel like it should be. Quick peeps are awesome. All peeps are awesome. I'm just glad the hand sanitizer doesn't make chlorine. Yeah. So the hand sanitizer is pretty cool. Um, I should turn combat off here, right? Let's turn that off so I don't kill off any... Don't kill off any uh, little hatches and stuff. Actually, there's a hatch right there, so it would be a good thing to have it off. Um, how am I going to deal with the water that's on this side? I don't want to get that pocket out of there, but I don't really want to get too close into the slimy stuff just yet. Maybe I'll leave that one there. We'll tackle it afterwards. Uh, and hopefully, with the, hopefully with this much of a gap in between, it won't decide to just kind of break through on its own. If it does, it's not that much. We'll just use it to clean out the colony really quick. Okay, so on this side over here is where I want to collect the water. So I'm going to try and put a ladder down here. And we'll use this also for our little sinkhole for our CO2. Wow, that's this is a really deep one. All right. We're going... We need to go deeper. Wrong game. I'm going to dig all this out. Uh, unless I shift and it doesn't work for me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a big a big well that we'll work off of first. Because all our CO2 will kind of settle down here, which would be great. Looks like we have a decent amount of algae here to start with, too. My experience is going to leave combat in. They won't attack unless told. Uh, yeah. I mean, they attack when it first comes out. They'll blast it a little bit, and then they kind of leave it alone. Same thing with the hatch. When it first comes out, it'll bite you, and then it'll stop. So, it's not really, uh, I don't think it's really a huge deal to turn it off or anything. Uh, I want to have a little double layer here. Boy, getting this water to settle is going to be interesting. We're going to have a real flood when I cut this loose. Quit YouTube app. Yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, when I start the stream, if you were on the stream ahead of time, you might have to refresh in order for it to show up. <laughs> Name the next colony Suffocation Nation. <laughs> well, we've had a Starvation Nation, so why not, right? We'll try to hit all the all the thousand dumb ways to die. Need to team up and take over the world. What are we going to do tonight, Brian? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Uh, ooh, you know what? I probably shouldn't dig over that far. So I, I need to build toilets. Um, and I was going to stick them over on this side over here. Because I can see some chlorine down here we might be able to tap into. Uh, but I don't like this. Ooh, there's a ruin over here already. Yeah, sweet. That one's really close, too. Excellent. Dogs and foxes will take over. <laughs> That's the fox and the hound all over again. Um, if I dig over here, this sand is going to drop, and then that might start the flow of water sooner than I want it to. Uh, and that may not be a good thing, but these guys are already looking for a toilet. Um, all right. I didn't want to, I didn't want to build it on this side, but I think that's what I'm going to do, just to try to manage it for now. I guess worst case scenario, I can get rid of it later. I just don't like how close this is to the center part of the base. But, I mean, ultimately, I think I'm going to move to, like, actual lavatories instead of the outhouses in this game. Last couple games, I've been using the outhouses just because you get fertilizer from them. Uh, by combining them with compost, but I don't think I'm going to go that route. He's got to pee. Please don't pee down there. <laughs> Somebody build these things quick. Oh, he made a mess. I knew that was going to happen. Didn't move fast enough. Stop. He's peeing on the ladder. And now it's down here. Oh, now I've got to clean up the mess. But oh, they both did. That's great. And they peed over here. Yes, we've got pee everywhere. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't really, I don't generally do shoutouts and stuff. Uh, what do you think of a, about a mobile version of the game? That would actually be kind of interesting. I feel like a touch interface in this would actually be kind of neat. Um, okay, so we started off really early with some good germs. That's fantastic. Um, just wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna build uh, in our medicine here. We have our wash basin, so I'm gonna throw down a couple of these. Although it's actually kind of 
they're kind of pointless at this point. They just peed all over the floor. And I don't have any water to put in it just yet, because I need to get the water down below here. Until I have that, I can't really manage it anyway. Little germs never hurt anyone. There's no... It looks like there's no angel today, Cryptic. Well, she might show up later. You never know. Brothgar played it in VR. Oh, that would be interesting. That would actually be kind of cool. Uh, let's take this out. I hope we manage to find a steam geyser relatively early. That would be cool. Or not a steam geyser, a uh, chlorine geyser. Because that, that makes handling the germ scenario a lot easier for when you're trying to set up. If you have to go out too far to find a chlorine geyser, it's really kind of a pain. Bad news. Look at the emoji. Uh, but I didn't see a fox. But when take over the world, we'll add one. Uh, I thought there was a fox emoji in there. I think I've seen other people use it before. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there is one there somewhere. It's just like a little fox face. It looks like they're going to be adding um, subscriptions to YouTube as well. And I guess with the subscriptions, when you get a, a certain number of subscribers, you can add in custom emojis, which would be kind of neat. And look at that. We got Superwoman trapped already. <laughs> I hope you dig fast, Superwoman. Dig fast. Let's mop this up. Mobile eyes are on the road. Yeah, uh, it, well, it might be able to, but I mean, it, I, I, okay. I should, probably shouldn't mop that. I should dig it. That's what I want to do. I want to dig it. And just so she doesn't suffocate right off the bat, because it'd be bad to start off with a dead duplicate. I should probably prioritize that a little bit. Not a fox, but close. Yeah, that one's a wolf. I thought there was actually a fox one. Well, they have a thing called Sponsors on YouTube, but it's in beta right now. So there's only a few people that have access to it. And I guess they're going to be rolling it out more broadly. Um, sometime before the end of the year, I think. So it'd be kind of neat to kind of get that and uh, get some cool little custom emojis and stuff. Two bruises are red. Their faces are blue. They're suffocating. They're not suffocating. They're just... Breathing very slowly. Uh, I should probably check germs down here. Oh, look at that. We found germs right off the bat. Now, the nice thing about the germs, even though there's slime lung right down here. That's kind of gross. I wonder if I can disinfect that now. Um, even though there's slime lung down here. No, it's not going to let me. Um, when we dump water on top of it, the water kind of suppresses the slime lung, so we don't have to worry so much about that. I don't like this toilet setup. This, eh, I'm going to have to move that sooner rather than later. Okay, let's uh, let's get the last of these dug out of here, and then I'm gonna get the water dumped down here. Quick germs, yeah, we got to the germs fast, fast. Well, I mean, it didn't help that we started peeing on everything. I mean, that that was probably the, not not the best start. Kitties have more expressive, yeah. Dig, 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 get those out of there. I really need to get the water opened up here. This is taking too long. And I kind of need the copper, so I should probably dig this out, too. Oh, and naturally, they dug out the closer one instead of getting the one that I want them to. Okay, you guys get that one. And then in the meantime, let's build the ladder up this way. Hopefully, if I just dig this a narrow shaft down here, I can get all the water to fall pretty much straight down. It was just making sure the others knew their territory. That's right. They're marking it effectively. The trouble is a couple of them marked it. So one of them marked over here and two of them marked down here. Now I've got all these little bottles of polluted water hanging around down there full of germs. Uh, so we'll have to build something to, dig, to dump those out relatively soon. Build the ladder, dig those out. For instance, slime is slung through a refinery with the polluted water have slime lung or is it only airborne? That's a good question. I haven't tested yet to see whether, uh, to see what happens with the, the germs that are in it. Choose a duplicate. All right, we're gonna bring another duplicate in. Mouth breather, non-constructive. Bottomless stomach, non-constructive. Okay, so out of all these, I mean, I kind of like people that can build, but I guess if we're gonna, this person has a really high learning. So even though we brought in Superwoman as our learning person, if we grab this person, we could use Superwoman in other ways, I guess. Who wants to join the colony? Uh, Elizabeth Jackson. I saw you showed out there first, so I'm going to throw Elizabeth Jackson in here. Welcome to the colony. You've even got, like, a cool little purple streak in your hair. That's new. All right, there's our four duplicates to start with. Wow, that's a good volume of water we're moving there. That's sweet. 
This should last a good while, hopefully. Uh, by the time we bring down the water that's above here, we're going to have a pretty serious amount of water, I think. Try to cut that over. We'll get another another little bit of ladder extension up here. This is actually a really good starting amount of water. I can do a lot with that. October 22nd. What's on October 22nd? <laughs> the ugly cry. I like the ugly criers. They're funny. Need water for your basin. Yep, I'm aware. Uh, that's why I was actually digging up here. I wanted to get the water down below so I could work with it. Um, once we get uh, once we get the rest of this water flow down here, then I'll build, build a little water for the basins. They're a little bit dirty right now. They've got a few germs on them, but it's not really that bad. Won't the water be infected by the lung thingy? Uh, no, slime lung doesn't spread in water. So uh, whether you're using polluted water or clean water, uh, it'll stay trapped here and it won't spread. Uh, now, that being said, we've got all this wonderful food poisoning germs everywhere. Because <laughs> people peed all over the floor early on. Uh, but we'll get those tidied up, too. Uh, I'm gonna just, on the overlay here, I have this set for 10,000 germs. I'm going to set this for 100,000. So that I won't spend too much time running around cleaning things I don't want them to. That's a lot of water. Holy. It's still going. This is sweet. Uh, I'm gonna need to dig this out though, where they're not—it's not gonna flow through there properly because that little, little seal it creates. If you can recycle toilet water into more clean water. Uh, yep, you can do that. The tricky part is you have to take the toilet water, get rid of the germs, and then purify the water so you have clean water again. So it's—it'll take a little bit of work. Addicted Slime Rancher—that's a pretty fun game too. I need to need to find a little time to play that this week. I want to dig this out. It's going to take a little while for this water to flow down here, but at least I've got a sense of how much it's going to take up in here. That's a serious amount of water. That is a that's a fantastic starting pool of water. Okay. Did something break down there? That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Uh, let's grab the liquid bottler. And we'll... Uh, actually, starts like... That's no good. All right, we're going to put it right here, and then I'm going to dig away some of this roofing here because it just looks silly. Welcome to Cryptic Falls. That was a, That was a lot of water. It's my version of Gravity Falls. Uh, okay, so let's throw a little manual generator down here. We'll get some research started. Uh, get a little battery. Get a little research station. I'm trying to plow through the research as quickly as possible. They kind of amped it up with an update, so the research goes a lot faster than it did when I first started the last colony. So with any luck, we can plow through the research pretty quick. Uh, okay, so... In terms of like something we want to start with, we have a few different options, I guess. A basic farming will give me access to the compost, which is what I really want for my toilets initially, because I don't want the polluted dirt just sitting on the ground. So I'm going to start with basic farming, I think. Uh, and then after that, I want to get into the sanitation as early as possible to get things like lavatories and showers. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the liquid piping next, I think, and then probably interior decor. I'm a little iffy on whether I should, when I'm going to do the decor first or the liquid piping. I think it'll depend on what the stress level is like by the time this first research is done. Got to do my arrows. Yep. Um, I should now actually know that they have uh, now that they have a little bit of water. I should pay attention to that. They get clean. See, they cleaned on their way to the toilet that time. <laughs> uh, we're going to need storage containers as well. And I want chlorine for my storage containers. Uh, there, I see some bleach stone down here. So I'm going to, I don't have a, access to a geyser right away. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, we'll build a little flooring over on this side. This will probably be our access point where we get into some of the, some of the slime and stuff later. Uh, but then in here, I'm going to build a little storage compartment where I can put in the containers. Uh, so that's where our door will be in that gap up there. Uh, I think because I don't have a geyser, I can probably... Uh, let's see, there's one floor there, two floors. I'm going to build it three rows high. So we'll go like this route. And I just went all derpy. Go me. Okay, so this will give us a pretty decent sized storage area. And it's, because I don't have access to a geyser, I'm just going to mine up some of the bleach stone. And we'll leave the bleach stone sitting in the storage container in there. And it'll start to produce chlorine gas on its own. That's right. Who needs lungs? The slime lung's far enough away right now. I don't really have to worry about it spreading too much, but there, 
it, like it will spread through this stuff that's in here over time. So we'll have to we'll have to kind of get control of that sooner rather than later. Like I said, on the plus side, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't spread through uh, through water, so we can kind of suppress that. Now that I have, now that I have some people that can actually wash their hands, I think I'm also gonna disinfect the whole colony here if we can. Yeah, derpy walls, yay! It's not a wall if it's not derpy. Should play Kerbal Space Program. I've heard that game's really good, but I haven't had a chance to try it out. It's so much I want to do. It's so little time. Uh, let's throw a ladder in here. Sooner or later, I'll get these guys some beds, but it's not really my top priority because they don't really stress out that much early on. I mean, I say that as we're at 29% stress now, but that's not really that bad. Disinfect and protect. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jack. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cut all the way in the, over here, and we'll build a little floor across here. Uh, oh, th there you go. I thought I went in a little derpy wall again. That would be a hint for Cryptic Fox Gaming. I'm not sure. I think I missed your hint there. Scroll back. You don't have a dupe yet. <laughs> uh, the Slime Lung does not increase in diseased water. Um, the Slime Lung doesn't like liquid in general. Um, it will increase in diseased, or not, in, uh, in polluted oxygen. So if you have an area where there's polluted air, it will, uh, it will increase more. But um, the liquid seems to suppress it. <laughs> hint, make you a dupe. Good hint. <laughs> Should you mine everything? Uh, I'm not gonna mine everything at once. Uh, I usually start off with a with an area, then I'll try to control it so that I don't have too much um, too much oxygen to spend, uh, oxygen to try to spread around. Uh, ooh, actually, even right now, it's already low. I found like very little oxalite this time. I had tons of water and very little oxalite. So I think we're gonna have to move into oxygen production pretty fast here. Which I'm not super thrilled about. At least we have a decent amount of algae. Uh, but let's get an oxygen... A little bit of oxygen production going on here. And I'm setting it over on this side because I have my carbon dioxide over, like, in a little... Uh, I want it to drop down into this lower area over here. So I'm going to try and build the pressure on this side and kind of get it to move this way a bit. You release the firebug and increase the decor a bit. Yep, that would work too. Um, man, I, I actually really don't like my toilet placement here at all. This water is really inconvenient. I wonder if I should just make a mess here. Let's just like... Oh, that's good. Yep, super awesome. Another derpy ladder. If I just dig this out and then... So we have an opening. Maybe I can kind of relocate my bathrooms a little bit. Push them. I'd like to push them out just a little bit farther so I have a little more space to work with. Has anyone seen anything of that over the past few minutes? Nope, stuff and more stuff. You're completely invisible. Actually, scrolling back, I don't see that you sent much of anything. Suffocating. Did somebody just get buried in sand? Who's suffoc- uh -huh. That's great. So we're going to build oxygen over here and nobody's going to be able to breathe it anyway. This might be the fastest colony I've ever had. It's not going to be the germs that do me in. It's going to be the oxygen. Where's our air? Oh yeah, that's that's good times right there. All right, I better prioritize a little bit of oxygen production here. Not that I can get, create any energy because the whole thing's buried in sand. Come on, take that out. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, Superwoman. Worst colony ever. All right. We're gonna take a different. Let's take a different approach on this. We need this to go like really fast, so I'm gonna build up into here into the oxalite really fast. There's a tiny little bit of oxalite here, so there's, I know there's oxygen up top here. I can get that. <laughs> like my colony might be dead in a moment. We might be starting over. This is gonna be my record for like worst colony ever. Yeah, there we go. There goes Caitlin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fastest colony death ever. That's disgusting, actually. I even have oxygen down here. I'm digging towards both of them, but I don't think they're going to survive long enough. Do-over. This might be a do-over. Press F to pay respects. Yeah. <laughs> I have a... There is a ton of water in here. I did build too fast. I wasn't paying attention to the oxygen, because usually 
Usually there's enough oxalate in the beginning that they can survive without adding any oxygen production for a while. But this one, I had a lot of water and, like, no oxygen production. I should cheat it. Just reload back a cycle. You murdered your base in four days. <laughs> I'm on, Oh, I'm on day six. All right, so that's good. <laughs> uh, hold on. I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna. Whoops! I'm gonna. I'm gonna load back a day. Uh, the future train wreck, man. Was this place ever aptly named? Let's go back two days. <laughs> it was right about it being suffocation nation. That's really what I should have named it. Uh, this time, let's try getting the oxygen a little sooner. So I know there's there's oxalate right here that I can get access to. I'm gonna send a little ladder upward this time instead of downward. That was so lame. <laughs> If you're watching this game to learn, if you're watching the stream to learn how to play the game, man, did you pick the wrong stream to watch? <laughs> oh, it's a shame. I'm sorry, you have to go, Grizzly Bear. Thanks for coming to the stream, though. Yeah, this will be uploaded right away to YouTube, so it always um, right after I end the stream, it gets uploaded. Normally, it has a processing time before the whole video will be available. The cheating train wreck. That's right. This is the cheating train wreck. Uh, I've never had to cheat in this game before. That's really lame. I don't think of it as cheating. I think of it as a creative learning experience. <laughs> I guess I don't need to build my water bottler again. Throw a little liquid bottler down here. That's actually really high up. Uh, how is that one so much higher? I don't get it. Oh, whatever. Take this out. We'll send some sand down. Uh, we have access to the oxalate in here now, so there should actually be some oxygen coming in. Not a lot of it, but there's some there. Uh, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, hopefully a little bit on the smarter side, and we'll go straight down here too. We'll just, ugh, again. Derby ladder. We'll go down there and get that out. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. That's right. Exactly. Random flashes of green. That's weird. Uh, dig to the ruins already. Well, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of down here. I mean, my first priority is making sure my duplicates don't die on me again, I think. I feel like that would be maybe the better way to focus my energies. Um, so we'll go like this. Where's my stations? Put a little research station in here. I don't think I've had people... Like, I don't think I've had duplicates die in a colony that fast before. That's a new record for me. <laughs> That's impressive. Also need to make uneven floors. That's right. Uh, okay, so... Research. I gotta redraw that whole storage area I was gonna do. That stinks. Oh, I wanted to set jobs on this, too. I forgot. I was going to set research jobs so that um, only Elizabeth Jackson is focused on the research. So that'll go a little bit quicker. Uh, we do have some oxygen going now here. So that'll at least, that'll at least give us some breathing space. i got to be careful about digging in here clearly since I made a big mess with all that sand. This time, let's dig the sand out before I cut it open. <laughs> Hello, in Argentina. That's pretty awesome. Sandy ladder, yeah. Ladder's blocked by dirt. Now we got it. We're good. Incidentally, I'm trying out something new with YouTube. They uh, they released a new ultra low latency version of streaming today. Uh, came out just this morning, so they had like um, the regular version and then a low latency one. This one's supposed to be ultra low latency, so it's supposed to be like a less than two second delay between when I do something and when you see it. So hopefully it's working well and there aren't any like weird lags and stuff. Uh, but I thought that was kind of cool. Particularly since I have heard feedback from people that um, the latency on, or the like the delay between when I do something and when you see it on Twitch has been better than in YouTube, so it might actually flip the other way now. YouTube might actually be faster. Need arrows to set them, yeah. Well, yeah, they, I do have the pump down there. There's nothing wrong with being extra clean. It won't really hurt anything. Set direction left. Uh, this water here, I'm going to dig in and just dump down into this space, I guess. After I harvest all the junk that's in here. Look at all the oxalate. That, that's where the oxalate was hiding. <laughs> he was hiding in the place where I didn't go. Naturally. Looks like he jumped on time for me to stick to the name of the game. Wait, which, you mean the future train wreck? <laughs> you didn't see the train wreck that just happened. We've already had a historical train wreck in here. If you just if you just join now, this is uh this is like the future train wreck redux. <laughs> we had a small incident last time and two duplicates died almost right away. Okay, so I want uh I need to draw out this little storage area I was gonna do again. Uh door, floor, floor, bottom floor. 
Okay, so again, what I'm going to do here is... Uh, again, derpy floor. What I'm going to do here again is I'm going to get uh, a storage locker. We're going to fill it up with some fancy... Uh, some fancy bleach stone so it can kind of leach out its chlorine gas into the area because I don't have access to a chlorine geyser yet. We'll have to find one. Seems fast around here, Chromecast. <laughs> Not buffering for you. That's good. Comments, yeah, they should be almost in real time. It, it's like the delay should be less than two seconds now on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Hello in Turkey. Yeah, future train wreck 1.5. <laughs> It's like it's like past and future train wreck now. It's not even just not even just a partial one. Um, what has our our stress? Stress is only twenty eight percent. So I'm gonna go with the liquid piping now, so we can get into sanitation station early. Uh, I guess I should put a floor over here. I mean, these guys might want. Uh, you know what? What I should do is maybe. I want to move all this stuff. I don't want to leave it where it's sitting. So I'm just gonna start the floor there and dig in here. And we'll let the water gush out. And wash down into this bottom area. It's not super convenient because it's not going to be connected with this water over here, but it'll kind of at least get it out of my way. Don't kill the light. I'll try not to kill the light bugs. We're going to dump some water down here, so we'll see if we manage to drown one. Completely by accidental on purpose. How's our air up here? Lots of air up here. I'm surprised they didn't run up here when they were suffocating before. Why didn't they? It's very weird. Oh, I should probably produce some oxygen now. <laughs> As I almost repeat the same mistake, go me. I'm gonna put it on this side this time so we have less wire to build. Only tiny amounts of wire. Uh, the one ore that's bubbling down here, this is um, oxalite. It's actually producing oxygen, which is kinda cool. So you, you start off with some of these oxalite stones initially. Why are they hanging out down here? Get out of there. Oh, look at that. They jumped off the ladder. With it. It's two tiles high, so they can't get out. <laughs> see if we can drown a duplicate. Okay, good. They can build their own way out. Perfect. Excellent. Um, all right, all these are flooded. I wonder if... Is this cleaning everything, or is there, am I sweeping all the germs off into the water down here? Oh, that's interesting. So... You would think that, like, rushing water past your toilet system would actually collect up all the germs and send them off, but it's not. It doesn't seem to have acquired any germs at all. Interesting. Yeah, the future is now. <laughs> yeah, if, if they add radiation, that's going to make things... That's definitely going to make things interesting. Okay. Research. We're already finished with the liquid piping. Wow, it's close, it goes really fast now. Uh, we'll start on decor next, because we're up to 38% for stress levels, so I could probably do something about that, I guess. Those little shine bugs are cute. Water by the biffies. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting. Like, it, it, just, it didn't really do anything. It just made a mess and made it so they don't work, because they're apparently all drowning. Uh, we're going to need a bottle emptier here, so I think I'm going to stick that down here if I have access. No, I don't have access to any of the tile yet that I want. Rat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who just died? Oh, come on. <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this colony could not be better named. Like, she literally dug a tomb for herself in there. That, how did, how did she even get in there? Oh, we're gonna entomb her in the wall now. Boom! No more. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh, no more Caitlyn. That is ridiculous. Ugh. Cycle six again. Notice that cycle six. Worst colony ever. Who named this thing? <laughs> <sighs> I can I can feel the people just clicking away from the tutorials now. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Sorry, Caitlyn. <laughs> She's gonna jump on a plane and come murder me now. It's a bad time whenever Caitlyn's duplicate dies. Train wreck 1.75. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna reset this one. It's fine. We'll let it go. Sorry, Caitlyn. You're effectively entombed in here, though, so your polluted oxygen will be kind of trapped away. Boy, that did good things for my stress, too. This colony's just going... This, this colony's going places. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. 
where can I put the tombstone for this thing? All right, let's assume if we're gonna have a floor here. One, two, three, four. We'll build another floor up here. And somebody's gonna get their head stuck in the floor, so I'm gonna dug this, dig this out or first, hopefully. Hopefully, don't get your head stuck. It's gonna happen. It's about to happen. Oh, we climbed out. <laughs> Just name a dupe after her again. Who made him? Yeah. This. Oh. <laughs> Worst colony ever. I just peed in my clean water. Or I should say, Critical Duplicate peed in the clean water. How did he. He got stuck in there quickly enough that he couldn't run to the bathroom because they're flooded. That's right. I need to clean that up. No, I'm not going to reset it again. I'm going to live with my failures this time. Caitlin won't, but I will. Ugh, so bad. So bad. All right, we need a duplicate. Um, choose a duplicate. <laughs> Who wants to join this mess? I got to tell you, your odds of surviving in this particular colony, not good. Not good at all. Uh, you can mop polluted water inside of clean water? No, you can't actually. You used to be able to, but now you can't. If there's too much water volume there, you're no longer allowed to mop it. I'm going to have to filter it out somehow. Trouble is it has germs in it, which is not great. So the germs are, are going to... I mean, I don't, I don't think the germs will spread in clean water. The, uh, I'm curious to see what will happen there. Uh, who wants to be a duplicate in this horrible mess of a colony I've made? Name it Johnny. <laughs> Dragon 8 wants to be stinky. Where's stinky? There's no stinky. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Yokel, Gastrophobia, Mole Hands. He's got lots of skills, though. All right. There you go. We have a new duplicate. Lifespan in this colony, I got to tell you, probably not super high. <laughs> we have a, we've already killed like three three duplicates. Even though with, this, you know, with a little bit of rewind, we've only got one dead now. But, man, terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, what do I want to do next? I guess I'll go for bigger batteries for now. Man, oh man. Uh, I'm going to need a place to empty out these bottles soon, too. Uh, awful. Just awful. Um, so I can do a bottle emptier here for the clean water, at least. How's our germ scenario down here? No, what did I do over there? Cancel that. Oh yeah, look at those wonderful germ spreading. That was like, that was like a worst case scenario right there. And the germs are growing. So until we heat the water down there, we're going to have germy water. <laughs> this is awful. Awful setup. Can't believe how bad that's turning out. Okay, um, let's throw a lot, little ladder in here. I'm going to build a couple storage containers to start with just because I need... I need some place to put some things... Uh, I'll just do like the top row in here for now, I guess. I'm gonna have to change this over to like gas permeable tile eventually. But for now, um, I don't have to worry about picking up germs so much because we're not getting any uh, any slime lung in our core area. So I'll just build normal storage in here for now, and then later on we'll convert this into like a chlorine room. Oh my gosh, yeah, this colony could not be named more perfectly. I gotta tell you, I <laughs> keep dupe alive. The machine, but it's broken. Caitlin rage quits. That's right. Are you a dupe yet? Not yet. Sorry, Tehd. So bad. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a start this bad the entire time I played the game, even when I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, gosh. Okay, so our oxygen level should be, yeah, significantly better in here now. Uh, now, the trouble is, I built all the pressure over here, so we've got all the CO2 trapped here. I'm going to need to try and get some gas permeable tiles going, which reminds me, which research are they hiding in? Uh, gas pre tiles are in the gas piping. I should have gone with that. Airflow tiles, I call them now. So we'll get that taken care of so I can get my airflow tiles. Name the next dupe Jack K. Make him do nothing but clean. Please, you need to be entertained. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. You're going to wind up with the same job you had last time. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Ray. <laughs> did I cheat again? No, I didn't cheat again. Although we did. I should probably build a gravestone for Caitlin up here. We've left our body laying on the ground long enough, I think. Uh, I'm going to put it way up top here so it's out of the way. 
It says it's a tasteful memorial, but I feel like there's not a whole lot that's very tasteful about any of this at the moment. Let's take this out, and I'm going to throw a little door in here. So I can control my oxygen levels a little better. No point oxygenating all this space up here yet. Oh, such a train wreck. <laughs> this is so well named. Can you super chat on Twitch? No, there's um, there, they have a different thing you can do on Twitch, which is um, like cheers, where you get little bits and stuff and spend them. But you can only do it if I if I sign up for the affiliate program, and I've chosen not to sign up for the affiliate program because it would require me to exclusi exclusively stream through Twitch going forward. And the vast majority of my, uh, the people that follow my channel are following on YouTube, so um, I've opted not to do that. Plane tickets bought. Don't go home tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin, and thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll warn security that you might be around. Oh my gosh, I need a supercomputer. Let's go with the... Uh, I'm going to stick it on the far side over here so we spread the heat out a bit. So embarrassing. <laughs> Loot picked up a thousand grams of Caitlyn. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those things too. Like when the duplicate dies, you're like, oh man, I just know Caitlyn's going to myrtleize me now. Gonna myrtleize me. Let's dig that out. Dig this out. I actually want to destroy this here because I like having a double like a gap down either side of the ladder for no particular reason. Our our germ situation in this colony is gonna get really ugly because of this. Every time I draw draw water out of here, we're gonna be moving little bottles of uh, germy water around. So when we start making food, we're gonna have uh, which we're gonna have to do relatively soon. We're gonna wind up in a situation where every time we make food, we have uh, germs we're adding to it, which is just awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to put a little farm up top here. Uh, I don't have farm tiles yet, though. I just have planter boxes. So we'll start off first, I guess, with airflow tiles. And then we'll dig all this out. Get all this wonderful algaes. Give to me the algaes. Why would you time me out for such a minor thing? I, uh, I didn't even see what was said. Slime lungs in the water. No, uh, there's no slime lung in the water. We have uh, we have food poisoning in the water because I had a duplicate that was trapped up here for a moment. Well, actually, it wasn't trapped, but uh, a duplicate that was up top here, and the toilets were flooded, so they weren't using them. So rather than doing something reasonable, like going and peeing somewhere else, they peed where it would all fall right down into the water at the bottom. So we've got this little pocket of polluted water here at the bottom that has germs in it, and the germs are spreading out a little bit into our fresh water now, which is... This is really not a good situation. I'm going to have to heat that water up in order to get rid of the germs that are in it. And I don't have any means to do that now. Which is really going to stink. Uh, I'm going to go to sanitation because I want those little air cleaner thingies. Twitch's exclusivity deal through the affiliate program means... Yeah, that's right. So what, what would happen is I could upload my streams 24 hours after I do it. But I couldn't dual stream to both platforms at the same time if I sign that affiliate agreement. So I've opted not to do that. I feel like it would be, it, I don't know, it's just, because everyone that follows my channel follows it on YouTube for the most part, I feel like it would be really weird to say, okay, I'm no longer streaming over here because I'm going to make money in this other place, so everybody pick up and move over to that other platform, and I don't know that would be cool. Uh, okay, let's get, uh, where's my refinement here? Get some compost piles in here. Uh, I'm going to build, I'm going to have to destroy some outhouses, so we'll build some new ones first. I can only do one. One for now. Deconstruct this one. Uh, and I kind of want to shift this over a little bit too. I'm going to be really anal retentive here. And I want to I wanna get my, my, my same gap that I have on the other side of the ladder that I normally like. I think there's, there's even... Looks like there's polluted oxygen floating around over here too, which is just great. Is Wonder Woman and Superwoman the, the same person? No, they have one's got black hair and one's got blonde hair. Oh no, wait, no, they, they both have blonde hair, don't they? No, wait, Wonder Woman has black hair. That's right. Who banned me and why? Could someone abuse their uh, stuff and more stuff? I have absolutely no idea. It doesn't actually show me what happened, um, and I'm not even sure what the scenario was that went down. But I'll take a look at it afterwards. Six 
60% stress. Yeah, we're doing awesome stress-wise. Um, let's get some decor going in here. If we can make things a little prettier in here, then maybe they won't mind the dead so much. Uh, or something. Get some pictures over here. We got some pictures over here. Okay, so I actually want to set the jobs because we do have an artist. Oh, no, wait. We killed the artist. <laughs> oh, this just gets better and better. Ah, all right, Dragon's got critical. All right, let's get um, let's get Dragon working on artwork. It's his artwork is not really going to be very very awesome, sadly. So we might have we might end up having to like break down some of the art later and rebuild it just so that it doesn't look ugly. This Dragon's not going to be showing the mad skills, I'm afraid. Some swag art coming by. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Uh, well, we had an artist, but she's up here now. <laughs> Caitlin had. Uh, well, on the plus side, she has no surface germs, but she, <laughs> she was our artist, uh, and I kind of, I kind of did her in a little early. She died earlier than planned. It's a light bug. Yeah, these little light bugs are cool. They fly around and they spread positive decor. And light, so you can see they have the little glowy effect around them. If we get, actually. It's a shame the light bug went all the way to the top. It would have been nice if it hung out on this floor instead. Um, if I set my storage here, we can finally do something with this because I've been a little slack in that way. Uh, copy these. Paste it over here. And then we'll get some of this mess cleaned up and that'll help a lot with the decor too. I think we'll start with this area here because that's where everyone's hanging out. <laughs> I don't know, Deadly Diesel Torque, if I if I would say I'm the man on this particular stream. <laughs> it's not going very well. This is this is quite possibly the worst start to a colony that I've ever had. I, I mean, I, even if I could say at least they're all still alive, but it's just not even that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. A cleanup will help. It helps a lot with the stress. It works in your own home too. It's funny how that happens. Send some hatches to the toilet area so we can clean up the polluted junk. Well, they actually, there's a lot of stuff over there, so I'd have to get them over there first. There's a, I'm going to leave these guys alone for a little bit. They're going to do a little bit of building, a little bit of cleaning. Uh, we have plenty of oxygen I have to worry about. I'm going to need to get some food going soon. So I, I really want to plant some sleet wheat. Not some sleet wheat, some, uh, some meal wood. My challenge is really going to... It's, there's a lot of chlorine up here, and there's a morb up here. That makes me wonder if there might be a chlorine geyser hiding up here. Oh, look, there's another wound there. Right above us, too. We can go straight up to that, and it won't have to take us into the swamp biome. That'd be sweet. Because the one that's... There's a ruin down here on the lower right. There's a natural gas geyser. Oh, and of course, it's in a really terrible place. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, there's this one over here, but there's actually a bunch of slime lung around it, so I'm not really looking forward to cutting into that. I'm going to delay on that one. If you're doing this well with a group of people, you should be you should play Banished. Now that's interesting. Banished. I haven't uh, I haven't seen Banished. I don't think. I need well the morb is up here. It's hanging out with the chlorine. Um. So I, I can't really go murder it at this point. <laughs> it's kind of well out of my way at the moment. I've almost nothing producing oxygen now. Also nothing getting rid of CO2. I'm not worried about getting rid of CO2 right now. Getting rid of CO2 should be like the last of your worries. If you check out the overlay, you can see that most of the CO2 is settling below anyway. So I'm going to end up undercutting this, and I'm going to put in the uh, the airflow tiles here, and this CO2 will drop. Uh, I only need one thing producing oxygen because the space that we're trying to we're trying to pressurize is relatively low. So we have tons of oxygen in here uh, for right now, and as long as I keep the oxygen level high, the CO2 will always settle down lower. Yeah, it would be cool to see some alloys and stuff in here. But, I mean, they, they have some other metals um, showing in uh, in the game that you just can't make yet. Uh, we definitely don't want somebody who's flatulent because I don't need that natural gas hanging around. Uh, medicine, tinkerer, cook, non-constructive, or biohazardous, someone who gets sick, but amphibious grease monkey and an iron gut. That's a lot of positive traits on that person, but I don't really like somebody who's going to get sick on us. So we're going to take Max. We'll grab another technician here. <sighs> who wants to be in the colony? Uh, Caitlin, I know I killed you off early, but I'm going to try and grab somebody new. Um, let's see. We'll go with TED. Welcome to the colony. 
<laughs> Welcome to the train wreck, I guess. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do here? So we have more research we can work into. I'm not worried about the, the med bay stuff just yet, because I don't have bleach stone. Decontamination would get me up to mesh tiles, which would be very handy. I wonder what the no. I wonder what the meal prep if you if you take contaminated food and cook it. I wonder if it gets rid of the germs that are on it. I know that if the duplicates covered in germs, they spread it onto the food. But I wonder if the food starts with the germs, what happens? Uh, I think. I think going this route is the route I'm going to go to start with because I want access to these faster airlock doors and this uh, the mesh tile. Temperature monitor. Yeah, we'll go that way. I don't know. I guess it's pretty much... It's largely all the same. Uh, I am actually going to need a second researcher, too, because I, I have the job set up for only one person right now. So I guess uh, Superwoman can help with the research, maybe? Put a similar temperatures when it falls out of the cookers. Cooking kills at least the food poisoning. I'm, I, yeah, I probably should look at the cook station then because we have like, as I start to use the the micro musher, we're gonna start pulling in these germs. It's actually it's really low quantity of germs. It's not really a big risk, but it's gonna grow over time. Uh, incidentally, I'm gonna put the bedroom up just above the main center here, and I think I'm gonna do over here. I'm gonna do my uh, my sleet wheat, and then as I dig down a little bit more here, I think I'd kind of like to do a mushroom farm down below here. So we can, we can just let the CO2 get trapped in this space and keep it separate from the other one. And we'll clean up one side and not the other. Fruit being something the dupes have never seen yet. Well, actually, if you take a look at it, um, there's morb meat there. So when you kill off a... Or not a morb. But when, you, when you kill off a hatch, you get this little bit of meat. So they have that. And then whatever these berries are supposed to be, I guess. I, get, I mean, one of them could be... Um, uh, what are those things they call up. The uh, muck roots. One of them could be a muck root, maybe. I, I don't know about the other one. Or it could be painted white, so a higher level artist can repaint it later. You can paint it white? I'm not seeing that as an option in here. I don't know. <laughs> you worked out how to super chat. <laughs> thanks for all the funds. Well, thanks, Tahiti. I appreciate the super chat. That's pretty awesome. Oh, this colony, though. All right, so I'm going to destroy one of these little sinks here. Because uh, it's going to hang over the edge when I cut the stuff out from underneath it. So let's... No, not disable. I want to deconstruct that. I'm going to build a new one. I'm going to build... Uh, uh, I need another outhouse. So we'll build that. And then in our medicine, we'll grab another wash basin and we'll stick it over here. And that leaves me a little gap here that I can actually put an air deodorizer right in between so we can keep all the stinky stuff in the bathroom from polluting the rest of the colony. Let's dig out this too. Oh, right. I've got polluted bottles of water here I'm going to have to deal with too. Where can I dump those things? I need a, I need a decent holding tank that I can put, I can put the polluted stuff in. So maybe I'll stick it over this way. If I dig out under here... I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I, this, this is a funny layout, actually, for me. <laughs> I don't know why. This little pocket of water in here is going to cause problems for me. It's messing with my brain. Get Kazi on board over the death of Alex. Tie me up and beat me or something. Uh, am I going to enter the ruin? Uh, yes, but not right away. Uh, if I cut into here, I'm going to be exposing my duplicates to, to, um, to slime lung because there's slime lung in this area. So before I make that move, I want to make sure that I've, I've got everything prepared that way. There is another ruin up here we can go and access it, and that would be kind of cool. Uh, and this one's in an area that's not dangerous for me, because I can just go straight up to it. So I'll go check that out. But for now, I want to make sure my duplicates aren't going to die off while I'm in the process of doing that. <laughs> yeah, the mods are they're plotting my demise. Caitlyn doesn't like the fact I killed off her duplicate. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, I can change all this over for my storage. It's gonna take a while for them to dig all this stuff out. We need more duplicates. I only got five, I need at least one more. And I feel like maybe three more. You're never donating a super chat ever again, why? Oh, Jack, I forgot Jack. He'll give me the next one that comes in, sorry. Brain, my brain hurts.
Do not make polluted water up here. Just send hatches and they will eat it up. Well, I can't, um... I can't get a hatch over there. Oh, there's a hatch up here, actually. If I, uh... Hold on. If we cancel this, I can dig straight down underneath this hatch. Like so, and I'll prioritize this, and that'll send the hatch down below there. Let's prioritize that. So if we can get that hatch to drop down this way, it'll hang out in our little bathroom area. Sleeping on the store is a little stressful. Stress is down to 8% now, though. It's funny how much just a little bit of cleaning up and a small amount of painting can change things, because it was at, like, what, 70% or something crazy? I mean... Oh, come on. The hatch got up and left because they... Oh. I did that wrong. This this thing's going to be the bane of my existence. Now I don't even need all this stuff I built down here. Cancel this. Stop it. Uh, now dig this out as a matter of priority. Now we'll drop the hatch down here. and He's going to burrow into this dirt right here, which won't be great because I don't need him there either. Uh, let's try to dig this out fast. Hopefully before he comes back... There we go. Okay, he'll hang out here and eat all this mess now. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. The game feels really hard tonight. <laughs> Let's dig all that out. Would a shounder goal system be a good example? Build an outhouse, oxygen deoxidizer, and composts uh, with maybe a reward after completion. Uh, I'm not sure I understand how you mean. Using a hydrogen bubble to cool your steam geyser. That's cool. I haven't even found a steam geyser in this one yet. The only thing I've seen so far is that natural gas geyser, but it's way down deep in that wonderful polluted slime lung area. So it's going to be a while before we get to that. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. <laughs> Alright, so we have one, uh, one little hatch that might prove useful over here. That'll be interesting. Right now he's eating... Well, the trouble is he's also going to eat the fertilizer that's going to be produced over here. That's not so great. I kind of want the fertilizer. You can include the, the dig a ladder up to the flood it with chlorine. Um, yes, but my biggest thing with the... Yeah, I could do that. The, the trouble is the chlorine, when it kills off germs, it actually destroys the chlorine also. So you need like a, a perpetuating source of chlorine. And really the, the, the food poisoning germs are the easiest ones to manage out of the whole thing. They're, at worst, they're an inconvenience. The ones that are a problem are really the slime lung. Those are the ones that will kill you. What's the best way to trap hatches? They're kind of a pain to trap, but you can get them... You can catch them in the doors. Like, you can get them in the pneumatic door, for example, and they'll get stuck in it. Um, if you can build, like, a, uh, like a pneumatic door and then get them to, like, walk underneath it and then open it, then that's one way to kind of get them to drop into an area. But it's kind of a pain to herd them all together. Oh, research is done. Thank you. Research. Excellent. We've got that. Uh, temperature modulation. Meal prep. Let's go with some meal prep. I could use some farm tiles, I guess. Down to zero kilocalories of food, which means I'm going to have to start making food. Um, and I didn't really leave myself a place to do that. <laughs> I guess I should do it over here. Uh, which means I'm going to have to get rid of a picture. Let's deconstruct this thing, because it's not exactly a masterpiece anyway. Let's take our little micro musher right here once that picture's gone. Oh, come on. <laughs> Know how much this game costs on Steam? It's actually not that expensive. What is it like, uh, twenty-five or thirty dollars, something like that? If you get paid to play this game, I'd totally quit your day job. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could get paid enough to play this game, but I, I need to work my day job still. Okay, break that up. Give me room. I guess I could just build it somewhere else, but I want it over here. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's going to need power. We're actually, uh, we've got quite a bit on this one little manual generator now, unfortunately. So there's uh, 120, 180, uh, to 300, and then whatever this thing costs. Make fry mush bars. i got to build a cooking station first. I think I just started the research for that. Uh, oh, I need to build my other wash basin over here. Man, as, between the one guy running on the treadmill and two people doing research, that doesn't leave a lot of people to get stuff done in my colony right now. 
Beds would be nice for stress, yeah, but we're only at 2% stress, so I'm not super worried about it yet. I always delay on making the beds until I get more of the critical stuff. The stuff that's going to kill you is kind of the things I want to tackle first. Better make up to Ray J or she's going to kill <laughs> She's going to join Kaylin. I know, right? I need another duplicate in here. 0.4 cycles, and I'll have another one coming in. I'll remember to make, uh, remember to make Jax. Jack is on the way. I have warned people before. I have a memory like a sieve. <laughs> okay. What else do I want to make here? Uh, I'm not worried about the agricultural stuff at the top end just yet. I think I'll go with uh, percolation down here. Yeah. We'll go that route. Why not? Maybe a system that tasks to build parts for your starting list to be able to unlock new research areas. Spitting out ideas now. Are you talking about like um, in terms of like just the way that you play the game or in terms of the way the game is designed? Should put wash basin leading into the kitchen. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, given the presence of germs around here, that probably would be a good idea. Sadly, the wash basins are really tall. Medicine wash basin. Yeah, I gotta destroy another another wonderful piece of artwork. Let's deconstruct this. And we'll go into our medicine. See, now the more of these, uh, the more these wasp patients are spread around, too, the more more necessary it's going to become to have a place to dump out the polluted water from them. Sanitary cooking. Yeah, who needs sanitary cooking? It would just be like your average restaurant. <laughs> just germs everywhere. Remember, like a colander? Yeah. A whole bunch of text just flew by, and I totally missed like all of it. Remember, like I called her just efficient enough to keep the spaghetti from going everywhere, but boy, does it make a mess. <laughs> Pretty much, that's you got a nailed right there, Ilya Star. I'm trying to think of a design, someone how you games, yeah. Okay, let's make this one, Jack Candice. Uh, let's see, we've got a non-constructive interior decorator. You know what's funny? I've I've been working already. It's that other person who's already been doing the artwork has built up their art to a point where they're producing better stuff, so they've already improved. Uh, we have a narcoleptic who's into medicine and athletics. Oh, yeah, plus 11. That's crazy. Learning strength immunity. Early bird. Yep, don't want that one. Let's go with, um, I guess we'll go with the non-constructive non interior decorator. It also pleases me that Jack's going to have this really funny hairdo. Jack Candace. Welcome to the colony, Jack. Uh, oh, now we have a very important task to do here. Where's Jack? Jack, Jack, Jack. Uh, disinfect. There we go. Perfect. Get busy, Jack. <laughs> it's gonna be like the most use, like the most useless duplicate in here, because until the germs get to the point where there's a, a fair amount of them, he's not really gonna do a lot to disinfect. Oh gosh, I don't want them doing that. Stop climbing up here. Let's start that thing. So they just circumvented my t my sink here. That stinks. More research done. Sweet. Research goes so fast now. What's the most dangerous thing to work with or encounter in this game? Apparently me, since I managed to kill off three duplicates in six cycles early on. <laughs> uh, the most dangerous thing, I guess, is... Uh, well, probably Slime Lung now. I, I mean, everything else is just your normal... You know, your normal logistical challenge. So you just make sure you're producing enough oxygen, taking care of gases, and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of stuff that's actually dangerous, it's the slime lung is pretty much it. Ta -da -da. You see, they're they're so slow when there's only two of them working. I need to I need to stop with research for a little bit and put them to work doing something else. After we finish this research item, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them do some digging because they're just not researching or they're not um, building enough. They're spending too much time on that research. Um, let's get some floor in here. Oh, starvation, right. I probably want to make food. Let's prioritize that. Man, I scrolled back in the text and then I forgot to scroll back down again. I missed a whole pile of stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do you make a shower and toilet without germs in your water supply? Well, you really have to send your polluted water somewhere else, so... 
you start to have to segregate your water sources. So when it gets to the point where, I, like, oh, over here I have a bathroom, and at some point I'm going to build a place down here to get rid of um, germy water, and we'll send uh, shower facilities and toilets down into that same germy water, and then you want to you want to heat it up to kill off the germs, and then you can clean the water and use it for other other purposes. But you just want to separate it from from your other water supply. Sweep and disinfect only. Okay, so we'll put we'll put him on sweep also. Uh, where is the sweeping task? There it is. There we go. So now Jack can sweep also. So he won't be completely useless. <laughs> He'll be our little cleaning guy. I wish we could put like a little French maid outfit on him. <laughs> sweep, mop, disinfect. Uh, all right. Yep. Mopping makes sense too. So where's uh? Let's see. Deliver, build, harvest, mop. Mop, mop, mop. All day long. There we go. French maid, yeah. <laughs> but Jack and Mop, yeah. See, so we got we have him set up for mopping duty also. So Jack's Jack's gonna be very busy cleaning our colony. That's right. Get to work, Jack. Slave drivers over here. I'm gonna leave the research alone for a little bit. We've researched a lot of stuff, but the ability to make a French maid outfit on the textile factory that would be an amazing thing to make. <laughs> I think that would be awesome if you could make a French made outfit on the textile factory. How's our decor doing? Yay, we have a super ugly colony. Go us. Let's build a little statue over here. I'm trying to do something to improve things. Uh, this ladder can go, so I'm going to deconstruct this. Uh, I meant to finish putting airflow tile in here so I can build a little farm thing on top of it. Where is my food? Planter boxes. That's what I want. Get those going in here. Yeah, they were they were they were they were so focused on not wanting to wash their hands they would climb up the ladder to get around it. <laughs> like, no, I'm not cleaning. Uh oh, Jack, you need to do some disinfecting. Spray over here. No, oh, no, it's just stuff that's stored in there. Very small amount of food poisoning germs in there. Here's my essay. You eat frogs, they're good. They're f tasty and funny. That's interesting. Nobody eat dinner at Miles' house. Apparently he eats frogs. Oh, we can get one plant going. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you could set this to go a little bit faster. When you've got like a whole bunch of just tasks that they kind of have to run around and do for a bit. I guess it gives me a chance to look at the chat more. This is an awesome game. This is probably the best purchase, that, uh, game purchase I've made in I don't know how long. I've sunk so much time into it and I have so much fun playing it. <laughs> Frog, frogs are a healthy duplicate diet. Maybe they are. Mind you, I, I don't see any frogs in here. The closest thing we have are morbs and I don't think I want to eat one of those. Can you ever beat the game? No, not really. It doesn't really have an end goal that way. It's more just like how long can you last? Why didn't you use farm tiles instead of planter boxes? I'll show you in a minute. Maybe a Reddit post? I'm not sure I understand. How long have I been below, below 5,000 kilocalories? Oh, it's been for a while. It's not really a big thing. Like, as long as you're supplying with some food, they won't die off. It's when everything so if when people start saying they're starving, that's when you really gotta worry. Uh, the research is done, you're right, but I'm not I'm not letting them do that right now. I only have six duplicates, so when I have two people on research and one on the treadmill, that kind of leaves me with only only like three people to do stuff. And Jack is, sp is specifically on cleanup duty, which means he's not going to build anything, so that leaves me only two people to do something with. So for now, I'm going to leave the research alone and let them run around and do other things. What's the longest I've lasted? Um, probably 250 cycles, but because I do a lot of streaming of the game... Uh, I, I really like starting new colonies all the time, and I've done some like funny little challenge things for myself. Uh, so I think that the colony that I lasted like 250 cycles, I just sort of stopped playing it, and I went and built a new colony. It could have gone a lot longer. You can disinfect the water, but you have to heat it up, and I don't have a way to heat it at the moment. Yeah, you can speed up the game in debug mode. It, it goes to like crazy speeds. But I don't, I don't really want to use debug mode. 
<laughs> That's right. Unless they're starving, food's a waste of resources. Besides, they're already up to 7,000 kilocalories. Like, you produce... With this number of duplicates, you can produce food fast enough on the micro that they're not going to starve. Addiction goals. <laughs> That's right. If you could hit cycle 4,000. <laughs> food shortage. It's not really, though. No, no more short than it was a minute ago. Got a lot of polluted stinkiness over here. Just stinking up the joint. That's right. These food, these dupes only get food when they earn it. Do your job. <laughs> Did you see Brothgar use back-to-back -back water purifiers to clean water? No, I don't think I did. So he was, uh, it, you mean in terms of um, two water purifiers taking out the germs? I wonder if uh, I wonder if it's a case of every time it runs through the water purifier, it destroys a certain number of germs. I mean, it might even say in here actually. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about cleaning out germs. But I wonder if it gets hot enough that it actually kills off some of the germs because the water purifier runs really hot. Nearly 30... Oops, I missed that. Me being a noob who didn't buy this game, nearly 30 Canadian dollars, I would immediately remove CO2, but you're just letting it pool there and you're slowly dying inside. <laughs> well, I I know I can do more research, but I want my duplicates doing work. And I'm, When we get another another duplicate in, I'll, I'll, I'll do more research. I want them to get this farm stuff going because I want to get away from using the micro musher. Um, yeah, so I'm letting the CO2 sit there because I, as long as you keep the pressure high enough in a given area... The, the CO2 can't spread into it. It will always settle itself below oxygen. Um, now, the issue I have over here is that I'm producing CO2 and all the pressure is on the left-hand side, so it's squishing it to the right. But when we eventually get this cut away, we'll be able to... There's water on the floor there. Maybe a lot water on the floor. That was weird. Um, when I get this cut away, the, the CO2 will, will finally settle down lower. And I can actually use the CO2 for different things. So we can use it uh, as a way of growing the mushrooms which are in the game. Uh, we can use it to create a sterile environment if we wanted to trap uh, food or something down there. You can create use it as a layer above like polluted water, and it won't uh, it won't cause polluted oxygen that way. Um, so there's a variety of things you can use it for. But for the most part, I don't worry about CO2 until I actually have to. Yeah, I mean it it might have something to do with the number of germs in the water, how many purifiers you need, but I, I haven't tested it to see how many it strips out. Have a good night, Elizabeth Jackson. Thanks for coming up to the stream. Yeah, the wash, the mushrooms are great for producing food. Uh, I don't think there's any out here. Well, there's a there's a spore here, but it doesn't tell you how many calories it has. Air pressure. So they produce 3,200 kilocalories, and when you look at Neil Wood, it produces 800. So like it's it's just a huge amount more. All right, so we're gonna plant a whole bunch of. Uh, oh, look at that! I didn't leave enough space. Take out this stuff. We're playing a bunch of mealwood over there. Let's bring another duplicate in. Who should I name this duplicate? See the not murder. <laughs> My murdering ways. It wasn't murder. It wasn't murder. It was. It was more like neglect. <laughs> Use your other water to make food. Um. Yeah, I could do that. I guess. I'm not really worried about it. They don't really get very sick off of the food poisoning. I'm still at 100. percent I mean, it says remove some disease and leaves in the dirt it produces. I don't remember seeing that. Hold on. Well, I'll check that after we pick somebody. <laughs> Ray, you just don't want to be in the colony because you know it's gonna, you know this duplicate is going to die. Just showered. That's perfect. We'll bring in a duplicate who just showered. Excellent. Uh, squeamish won't help with medicine, but they have plus one medicine. That's so weird. Loud sleeper. I'm not bringing that in. Seven digging. All right. This can be just showered. The only duplicate in the colony that just showered. <laughs> The buff of the immunity on the dupes, you need uh, like 100k germs. Yeah, it takes a lot to, to knock it down. So we have somebody at 97%, but that's only because they just joined the colony. So it's really like the food poisoning is a minor inconvenience at best. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The, the only duplicate that just showered is the one that just arrived. And even though he'll be like totally grimy at some point soon, it'll still say he's just showered. <laughs> Would chlorine air over water sanitize the top layer? Uh, yeah, generally it does, but it also, if you have it on top of polluted water, 
Plants have died. What plant died? Oh, this one here, because I didn't dig it out. Okay, so now here's where, here's where we, we play. We have a little bit of fun. Um, if we go in here into our food, we can go to our farm tile. And I'm going to have to destroy these before I can put them down. So we have we have our layer of planter boxes, and we're going to cheat just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to deconstruct... Start deconstructing some of these tiles. Yeah, you are watching a flying light bulb. That's the, that's the light bug. They fly around and they spread positive decor and, and they, they light the area too. When are we getting the dupes beds? When they finish digging this out, I'll get them some beds. Jack is not a happy camper. Well, he's <laughs> well, he's the one cleaning all the toilets and everything. He's He's got the awesome job. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, so we'll throw a little farm tile under here. Ideally, soon. <laughs> Just showered is moving awfully slowly. For a guy who's the only clean person in the colony, you'd think he'd be a little more quicker in his step. Playing peekaboo with your cat. <laughs> I know my research is done. We can do more research, but I'm, I want. Uh, I was trying to get the duplicates to do other things that wouldn't uh, wouldn't take them away from. From working. Okay, so here's where we do our little, our fancy little double layer of uh, of plants here. Oh, it's not gonna work now. It worked on my other game. No, that stinks. Let's see if they plant it anyway. It says it's red, but they might still plant it. Read the water purified flavor text. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so where's the uh, utilities? No, refinement. There we go. Water purifier. Clean water is a necessary resource for most of the sustain. Transfers a portion of the disease to the polluted dirt. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, and it makes polluted dirt. Yeah, good times. All right, it looks like this little trick isn't going to work anymore. So you used to be able to do a double layer of plants. And actually, I did it just in my colony like yesterday. I was just, I wasn't exploiting. I was just showing it. <laughs> Especially since it didn't work. Um... But it used to be you could, if you built the planters and then you built farm tiles underneath them, then you could plant the plants in them, even though there's something sitting on top. And you can see in the in the tutorial video that I did for germ management, I did exactly that. It worked perfectly fine, but apparently it's not going to work now. It's making a liar out of me. All right, we'll deconstruct this. We'll just go with a single layer. And I'll use the airflow tiles instead. Perception overload. <laughs> Name the next dupe in your honor. It's a shame it didn't work. I mean, I did it as, as recently as yesterday, so I'm surprised. Interbree, thanks for coming to check out the stream. And I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Oh my god. Uh, one giant paragraph. Looks like someone's transcribed a stream for the agriculture update. Oh, really? That's weird. I haven't uh, I haven't done any transcribing. I, I'd like to actually get some people that could transcribe stuff into different languages. I've had people like submit transcription uh, transcriptions for. Why can't they reach that? Dig task assigned unreachable dig. Why is that unreachable? It's like right there. That makes no sense to me. Maybe we put a ladder over here. Now they can magically reach it, even though the ladder doesn't exist yet. That's just wonderful. <laughs> See if the only reasons the hedges can continue eating. Yeah, I should do that. Hopefully there's no polluted water containers there. Plus you can irrigate rather than delivered bottle water. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Do you mean like the irrigation for the... Uh, um, for the algae terrariums? I don't, I don't generally like using algae terrariums. I'm kind of weird that way. Super Chad hype. It was unreachable because it deconstructed the floor, but I didn't. Um, oh, you're what? You're right. You're right, because they had to double jump over it. Duh. Coral Blue Dragon, Super Chad. Thanks very much for the Super Chat. I'm not getting the pop-up showing me what it says, though. I heard the noise... And I saw the notification on the screen, but I don't see the actual message. That's so weird. 
Oh, because there was no message. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Thanks very much, Coral Dragon. Cor Coral Blue Dragon, sorry. Okay. Um, so this farm should grow relatively well up here. I think we have good... We have, oh, that's actually not that good oxygen pressure up there. I'm going to build another algae deoxidizer over here. So we're going to go through algae a little bit quicker. However, we'll probably hit max pressure relatively soon. And I want to make sure that the plants up here have a good amount of pressure. Otherwise, things will just get messy. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can make your day better, Coral Blue Dragon. Uh, you were referring to the irrigating the farm tiles rather than deliver water to the planter boxes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't have any plumbing or anything set up anyway, so it's not really a huge... Huge issue for me. I don't think they have to deliver water to the planter boxes, though, to be honest. They don't deliver water or uh, or fertilizer. They pretty much just put the plants in there and leave them alone. Because they don't even say they require it. I mean, they need a farm plot, which includes a planter box. Uh, they need oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide, so any kind of atmosphere. They need a, this temperature range and that air pressure, but they don't require any water. So I can just let the meal ice grow all on its own and there's no delivery required. What's the point of having gas sprinkle tiles under the toilets? Only because I have CO2 trapped over here. I want to get that CO2 downward. So I'm putting gas sprinkle tiles to let the CO2 spread downward. Um, and when I build up enough pressure high up here, it'll, it'll let it press downward because I need it to collect at the lower portion of my colony. What's the easiest farm to maintain? Uh, now it's the mealwood. It, before it was the sleet wheat because it you didn't like well they had that whole system of trying to get like excellent yields but they they did away with the excellent yield system now and you pretty much just plant and leave it alone so the farm the easiest one to maintain is the mealwood it has a 33 percent chance of producing a seed each time you harvest it and you get three harvests per mealwood plant so you end up perpetuating your cycle of food uh, this I only actually want one direction and I've got polluted uh, polluted water there that's making a little gas I need to build a place I can dump that out what up why did this dump on the floor? <laughs> that made no sense at all. Other plants do, you're right, yeah. Yeah. So the thing is like when I when I get to the point of growing mushrooms, then I'll paint I'll probably plant those a little bit differently. Um I can't remember what the mushrooms require. Uh oh, actually I've got a planter box here I can check. So the fungal spores. Darkness, air pressure, atmosphere, slime. So they need slime, but they, they also don't need water. So it doesn't really matter what I plant in there either. Uh, the blossom needs water. And sleet wheat needs water. Somebody made a mess of the good water again? What? Did that really happen? I mean, I have... Seven duplicates and two toilets. There should not be an issue where they can't use the toilet. Oh, they're dropping junk in the water. That's weird. What did they drop in there? Oh, they're dropping bottles of polluted water. That's interesting. So the funny thing with polluted water is if you have it sitting below um, below any other substance like water or other gases, then it won't produce polluted oxygen. That's kind of funny. I need to get rid of the polluted water that's here, though. <laughs> I thought I was good at the game too, and then I started this colony, and boom, everything went off the tracks. But it's really well named. <laughs> Past and present train wreck. That's what we really should have called this thing. Alright, I'm gonna start building some beds, I guess. Give some people some furniture up here. This will help a lot with stress management too. Give them a fancy sculpture. We'll put some pictures up. Look at that, it's already high decor up there, and I haven't even done anything yet. I need to do something with this. I, I need to make a place to put some polluted water. Um, if I dig this a little bit lower... Ugh, gosh. Yep, super derpy. There we go. Uh, this will let my water settle a little bit lower down here. I'm going to dig, like a, I'm gonna dig a, like a straight well down here. And then over on this side here is where I'm going to build a room to, to store my polluted, uh, my germy polluted 
water. Okay, we're one more duplicate for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at eight for a little while, while we kind of big dig things uh, things out. Yeah, the mushrooms are a fantastic food source. You just have to get them built someplace that's reasonable. It's arting time. Um, okay, who wants to be in the colony? Who's next? Uh, Branwyn. All right, Branwyn, you can be in the colony. All right, so we've got noodle arms, uh, irritable bowel. A little extra time doing their business. That's actually not that bad. And it, it was somebody else that could help with doing the decorations, so that would be good. Uh, Branwyn, did I spell that right? I'm going to go back and look in the chat here. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Welcome to the colony, Branwyn. Uh, just so you know, everyone who joins the colony should probably take out a life insurance policy before joining. Um, survival is certainly not guaranteed in this colony. <laughs> oh, right. I want to set up jobs here, too, because Branwyn is also good with art. Critical duplicate. There we go. Let's get all the rest of these people off the artwork so we can stop making all those horrible pictures. Uh, creativity 5 for both of them. So neither one of them are really, like, super artists, but at least it'll be a little bit better. I love these new paintings they added in, too. <laughs> that's, that's just awesome. <laughs> These all these other ones down here we were gonna really have to do something with. Someone was saying you could you could repaint these things, but how does that work? Can't pound to blank cancels over it. I guess you gotta destroy them. Stuff my slime near heavy chlorine. That's right. Yeah, so I'm I'm probably actually with slime I'm probably gonna put underwater, because then it doesn't produce any gases at all. Is there a union? <laughs> not, not in this colony, I hope. <laughs> if there is, man, am I in trouble with the union. Uh, we have tons of calories now. Let's switch over to making lice loaf. And stop at the... Stop at the diarrhea bars. Yeah, like... I like to store slime underneath the water so that it doesn't produce any gases. Dev doesn't mention cryptic in a few... Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple streams that I... I like to join the Thursday streams, and I'm kind of a loudmouth. <laughs> so, they I actually... I had a duplicate named after me in one of the streams. It was kind of funny. That's right, Ray. That's, that's how I roll. I make tutorials, and then I just have an absolute train wreck for a colony. <laughs> I mean, aside from minor hiccups at the beginning, I... I would blame it on Caitlyn, but she's in the chat, and I don't want her to kill me. <laughs> uh, in jobs, make only let high creativity people paint. I thought I had that. I did. Yep, I already set the job, so only only uh, Jack and... Wait a minute, why do we have Jack on art? Stop it, Jack. You know you're not supposed to work on other things. We'll let Brandwin do all the work. Brandwin's a chef, though. That's funny. My favorite one's the Scream painting. This one's awesome. <laughs> I'd like to just plaster my base in all those, but this one's pretty cool, too. I hope they add more artwork to the game. I, I think that's the intention, but it would be pretty cool. They've been eating my fertilizer and producing coal over here. That's funny. Bling! All right, we got another research done. Let's try to get the rest of this knocked out so we can destroy this thing. Um, I guess I'll go the insulation route. If they would just take out this last little bit here, I might actually be able to make some beds and have a, a full bedroom set up for all eight of these guys. Uh, it's on the clay page. What was on the clay page? Build that big battery. Yeah, I really should. Um, the only thing is the big battery produces a lot of... Actually, does it make the same amount of heat as the smaller battery does? Uh, 6.25 watts. 6.25 watts. Yeah, it does the same amount. So I should actually destroy this. And we'll build a bigger battery in here for now. I'll, I'll build a better bank of battery somewhere else afterwards. Should sell a merch chest called the Cryptic Box to fans. And fill it with theme stuff like Cryptic Socks. Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. <laughs> and then you just keep a start how it know it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Okay, good. They finished doing all of this. Uh, I'm gonna set them to set. Let's get Jack busy up here sweeping the floor because I feel like Jack's not doing enough work. We we'll get some more cots in here. 
That gets us a full complement of eight cots. So everyone has a place to sleep finally. Uh, our decor is in fantastic shape now, so stress will be probably a non-issue for the longest time. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you use priority nine and before you know it, your dupes won't do anything? Yeah, I, I did that early on. <laughs> so when I, uh, when I first started playing the game, I was like, well, why would I go for priority seven when I can just make everything a nine and I can do what I want in the moment that I want them to do it? But then I would constantly work ahead. So I was constantly highlighting things that I wanted them to focus on. Now I try to minimize how much I prioritize things. And I let them focus on tackling the things that need doing. Speaking of which, I need to increase the party on my food crate so they won't leave food sitting on the floor. Uh, and I eventually I'm going to want to set up a better, better food storage scenario. <laughs> you would think everything would look like a Pollock. Okay, we can do more storage containers in here because I've these are gonna fill up. These are gonna fill up eventually. We're gonna wind up with some CO2 trapped in here too, which I'm not super thrilled about. But if I can get down into here and get some of this bleach stone, that would probably be good. Um Let's build a little tile here. I'm gonna build a door over here. And then I'm going to build a ladder down this way. So go outside. We'll go outside our colony for the first time. I think there's some germs down here. Got to be aware of. Oh no! Actually, the germs are. There's nothing here. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, and we'll get a little bit of this bleach stone. Oh, derby ladder. Get some of that. And then build a ladder over here. We'll get some of this. Uh, and I'm going to store the bleach stone in one of the containers in here up at the top, so it will start to leach out. Uh, uh, it'll start to leach out chlorine gas, and then we can, I gradually want to fill this up with the chlorine. So ultimately, when we store things in here, I want to have it uh, set up so that anything we put in there automatically gets disinfected. You would also buy a cryptic box. <laughs> I haven't. You know what? I some people have asked about merch and stuff before, and I haven't really given a, a ton of thought to what I want to do with it ultimately. I feel like my channel's still so small. We're we're just approaching fifteen thousand now, which actually if, and it feels like a, an enormous number compared to where I started. But I do love ladders. <laughs> ladders do everything. Uh, but I haven't really given a t whoa. What's going on here? Yep, I wasn't paying attention. I ran out of algae. So here's the risk of letting CO two build up in your colony. <laughs> if you run out of algae and you let your air pressure drop in other places, uh, it doesn't do good things for you. So I have a lot of algae in here. I just have to collect it. Get all this stuff. Uh, and we'll set this at a priority seven so they start producing oxygen as soon as possible. And I'm going to go the stress route and make it a red alert. You can buy a cryptic ladder. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, turn that off because we've got oxygen going now. Uh, let's dig this out. That doesn't do good things for stress, but once in a while, it won't, well, isn't the end of the world. Uh, down here, I'm going to use regular floor in this area because I'm going to build my, my my stinky water container area over here. I've almost never used Red Alert either. Yeah, now I notice. That's right, I'm really slow. <laughs> Man, the air goes really crappy in a really short amount of time, doesn't it? As long as they're getting some oxygen, though, this isn't really a big problem. The CO2 that's in here isn't exactly high pressure. It's just... Uh, Aw, oh, look at all the CO2 I left in here. That stinks. Literally. So you can take cryptic walks. <laughs> oh, the puns. They're so painful. It's awesome. Yeah, my biggest issue now is oxygen, but it'll get cleaned up. It's a minor inconvenience. Oxygen's not really that important. People don't need to breathe. Breathing's just a hobby. I mean, there's a, there is a fair amount of algae here still, but, I mean, eventually we're going to need to transition over to a different oxygen system anyway. I have lots of water here. I really probably should start to build an oxygen room. Crypto Merch, get your mysterious merch here. That's right. Cryptic mocks. Oh, my gosh. The puns. They're awesome. 
Crypto Foster dealt with drinking problem and liver problems too. <laughs> That's right. Be the alcoholic fox. Uh, I'm going to copy my settings here and we'll get the rest of these storage bins going. There we go. See, we're repressurizing relatively quickly. It's okay. It was only a minor catastrophe. It's just a little gassy. It's still good. It's still good. I'll try and dig that out of again. <laughs> the Cryptic Chronicles. <laughs> It's good. We got a. I, I, actually, I don't think we have anyone with iron lungs, so there's nobody that can hold their breath super long. But I'm sure they can handle it for a little while. Uh, I actually want to put some airflow tiles through the middle here too. Try to get as good an airflow as we can get in here. How do we get? Oh, I got chlorine in through the door already. Isn't that interesting? Um. All right. So he hasn't even dug to the bleach stone, but we've already let chlorine into the colony. That's great. <laughs> And it's because I let the air pressure down. If the air pressure had been higher, it never would have come through the door. Good times. Uh, we've got this polluted water i got to get rid of because we're making polluted oxygen over there. The old germ spreader. Cryptic pox. That's right. That's why I have my own disease. <laughs> You'd stay away from cryptic foods. <laughs> yeah. Given the given I'm making foods that are kind of germy and they might be uh, like mush bars that are made of mud and water I feel like you should buy them hold your breath dupes I think you need a bodyguard for the families of dupes you kill ah possibly Caitlin seems to be the only one that's uh, that's really dangerous so far <laughs> tutorial that manages gases loses cycle 60 to poor gas management that's right I also have a tutorial on germ management and I managed to spread germs in cycle 2 <laughs> I'm doing awesome on this stream. Best game ever. The worst part is, like, managing that stuff is actually not hard. It's just, uh, don't let your people pee in stuff, pretty much. <laughs> Tasty mush bars, yeah. <laughs> They're wonderful dirt flavored. Uh, where is my organic? I should keep this open so I only have 623 kilograms of algae, which is really low, actually. Um, so I'm going to want to try and do something here. I needed to build a ceiling in here anyway. So let's try and build this across. And that will give me access to some more algae up top here. Plus it's also just good for controlling... Uh, controlling the environment in this area. I'm going to build this one just one block higher because I want to do some paintings above this artwork. Or sorry, above these plants. That's a really weird setup here. <laughs> Actually, let's get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to do a door here. Weirdest door ever. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. The gases really aren't that big of a thing. You just have to think of it in terms of like where the pressure is and what direction it's going to move stuff. So keep your oxygen pressure high, and, and anything that settles below oxygen will fall downward. Um, if you have your oxygen production in the center of your colony, you have to expect it's going to push things like CO2 towards the corners. Um, but I mean, beyond that, the big thing is really just keep your, keep your oxygen pressure up and most of the gases take care of themselves. Seems I have no idea where the dupes are. How do we know the dirt isn't pumpkin spice latte flavored? <laughs> Fair enough. Mmm, pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks. <laughs> oh, look at that. I managed to make a fancy little trapped area that does me no good. Yay, me. Okay, so... Uh, in here is where I want to do my little dirt, my little yucky water storage thing. Uh, so we'll build the little floor here. And then I'm going to build a, just going to build a little tank in here. Ah, oh, derpy. If it's not derpy, it's not cryptic. Okay. Dig all this out. And this is where I'm going to put my, oh, no, wait. Is that going to be high enough? Where's my plumbing? Bottle emptier. Okay, that'll work. It's going to look a little weird because it's going to stick it in the ceiling, but... Uh, we'll throw a little ladder down here because you can never have enough ladders. Unrefrigerated food. I don't want a refrigerator yet, though, because it just takes too much energy. Although I do have a, quite a bit of CO2. I guess, I, like, realistically, I could I could tuck something in, down in the CO2, but then I have to go a long way to get it. Suffocating. Who's suffocating and why? 
<laughs> Superwoman, you're on the chopping block again. Uh, second time I've had to use high priority. That's lame. There we go. We're good. We saved her this time. Superwoman didn't die. Pumpkin spice mushrooms. Yeah. Can you delete or edit your recent comment? My powers are being back shelled. What? Cryptosporidium is a real thing. <laughs> okay, so if they can get this dug out for me. Oh, look at this. I'm going to need more. Uh, let's use mesh tile in here. Do a little fancy mesh tile floor. And then I'm probably going to need another ladder on this side for them to finish that wall, but it's not really a big deal. Dig, duplicates, dig. Do my bidding. Get some art up here so our fancy little garden looks a little nicer. I wish I could put art right here, but it won't fit. It won't fit. Uh, please don't spam in Russian. <laughs> You're bec I'm becoming that which I hate. <laughs> An all narcoleptic challenge. I tried that actually. Um, and or was it a snoring challenge? No, it was a snoring challenge. I did. I should actually do a colony with all narcoleptics. That'd be funny. Particularly if in the middle of the day they all fell asleep at the same time. That'd be great. <laughs> Praying for a dupe to die fail. We've already had a few of those. We don't need any more. I did a challenge for myself where I, I tried bringing in uh, duplicates that were all snorers, but the frequency that they came up was so low, it was really hard to get any. It's really a little weird. Uh, I'm going to dig this out so I can get that algae, and same thing on this side. Because we're going to need it. 1,500 kilograms of algae, so we're a little better positioned, but we're going to need more. Uh, we got the, we got a little bit of bleach stone out of there now. Let's get some more. I'm going to get a whole bunch of this bleach stone. It's going to take a fair little bit. And then this top left storage container, I'm going to change it so, uh, what is it under? Raw minerals? Consumable ore, maybe? Consumable ore. Okay, so we have bleach stone that can be stored in this top one. But I don't want it to be stored in any of these other ones. So let's go to consumable ore. We'll take bleachstone off of there. Actually, I don't know that it really matters. I can kind of stick it anywhere. What do I care? <laughs> throw, I'm going to throw a door on here, too. That way, if we build up chlorine in there, it will uh, it'll stay collected where I want it to be. Loads of algae near the polluted pool. Is there? Is there? Well, down here there is. Or you mean over here? Not, not really a ton. I mean, we'll find more. There's uh, the nice thing is in the when you go into the purple biomes, which I'm gonna try and avoid the the swamp biomes for the first little while because dealing with that slime, the slime lung's tough if you don't have everything set up right. Um, so I'm gonna avoid this the swamp biomes initially, and we'll probably expand out into the purple biomes first, and we can find pretty large pockets of algae out there, which is good. Look at the size of this ruin in here. Or is that two ruins? Oh, I really want to go over that way now. So we'll need an airlock on this side, too. Lots of coal up here, which is good. Uh, I should probably try to transition off of manual power soon, too. Maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll build... I'll build my energy room here. Oh, where can I build that, actually? I'll probably build my... My power generation over on this side when I because I'm gonna need some of this gold amalgam. How's the germ population over here? Oh yeah, it's great over here. I don't know. Maybe I'll build it. I'll build it over in this space somewhere because I'm gonna run want to run the uh, the heavy watt wire up the side of the the colony. Or maybe I can do it across the top. Man, I'm indecisive today. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> you can get to the room from your soon be septic tank then seal the tank later. Yeah, it's not really so much the... I mean, they could go out there and come back in, and they, they would get a little bit of slime lung, but it really wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. 
We'll see. Let's go. You know what? We're running. We're actually running close to the end of the stream. We only got about 15 minutes left on the stream, so maybe I will go after that ruin. We'll see what's in here. I mean, it could be just a vending machine because this is a pretty small room by the looks of it. Um, so it's probably not the one that gives the duplicate the the new buff. Uh, but there might be a vending machine in there, which has unspoilable food, which is neat. Super Duper Lungs is bad. The 10 strength is the best you've ever seen. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Super Diver Lungs? Well, they have Diver Lungs, but I don't know about Super ones. Uh, I'm going to turn this off because I have all the duplicates I need right now. Let's see what that does to my decor when the light turns off. No, it's actually not that bad. I mean, our decor in the, in the call at least is nice. Uh, the bathroom's not so great, but that's kind of always the case. Uh, the the plants, unfortunately, don't don't give very positive decor for the mealwood. But we're kind of offsetting that a little bit with paintings, just not a lot. It doesn't really cover it up very well. Uh, these areas they're not really traveling into, so that's not an issue. If I could get them to finish down here, that would be good. Tell you what, we're going to go like so. Let's prioritize digging into here. Those are germ scenario. Ugh, they're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of slime in there, which isn't great. But I'm gonna prioritize this to a six, and then uh, we'll build some mesh tile floating in the middle. I don't want it touching, just to avoid extra germ spread. Break the warrior. I like your mellow streams. Have you uh, have you got a chance to play PUBG? Thanks. Wow. 100 sec. I have no idea how much that converts to in my own currency, but thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> uh, I haven't played PUBG, although, to be honest with you, I really want to. It's just not something um, It's not something that I would play on, on this channel. Uh, just because of the type of content I tend to focus on, but I actually really want to play it. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Uh, wait a minute. Did we get THD stuck over here? We did. All right, THD. You're going to need to dig. Dig down. Let's cancel this and just dig down. Dig faster. THD is gonna die. Come on, you just jumped off the block that you need. Okay, you need to you need to do this like right now. There. Oh, come on. <laughs> This, this colony is like the epic fail. <laughs> the number of duplicates I've managed to kill in this one stream when things should be going perfectly fine is actually just flat out ridiculous. <sighs> TED did everything possible to <laughs> avoid getting out of there. <laughs> Killed me. Killed them. Craziness. I don't like it at all. It's messing with my brain. Man, that really stinks. <laughs> I hate when duplicates die, and I've had a really good, really good chunk of them tonight. That was a little odd. Just leave you there on the block. I can't. You'll end up creating all kinds of polluted oxygen. Not to mention you're a really bad decor effect. <laughs> oh, maybe the hatches will eat your body. I wonder if that's a thing. Will the hatches eat a body? Tune in next time to find out. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That's what that was. Crazy duplicate. Uh, yeah, in terms of PUBG, though, I'd actually really like to play the game. I just I have not taken the time to do it. Brazilian! You love oxygen. That's awesome. Hello in Brazil. 100 Swedish kroner. 15... Okay, th cool. Thanks, Bitterum. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you'd want to be... Let oh, maybe we can create the circle of life. The hatch eats the duplicate, and the duplicate eats the hatch. If you pay more to Super Chat last longer, it does, yeah. So um, it's based on the amount of currency or the amount, the, the amount that you contribute. It'll stay at the top for a longer period of time. I think the biggest one I had was from the Lion Gore, and it was like $100. And it lasted up there for like an hour or something. <laughs> it was a really long time. If there's some sort of threshold that um, uh, YouTube sets on its own. Okay, so we're going to submit a sample to unlock this door. As soon as we build a floor over there. And we'll see what's inside this thing. I'm letting all this yucky polluted oxygen in that has slime lung in it. I should probably put a door on here. Prioritize. This is really this is poor decision making. I, <laughs> I shouldn't be adding slime lung in here right now. Uh, let's get some oxygen, some little deodorizers in here that we can clean this up. 
The CO2 should help keep some of it trapped, except it's going to filter past it, which is not good. Build quickly, folks. Build quickly. Okay, so we have the we have the fancy little room open. What's in there? Lockers. Sweet. Okay, I haven't I haven't tried out lockers before. I found some in one of the the colony that I was doing for the uh, the tutorial, but I never actually dug out to go get them because I was focused on doing other stuff. So let's uh, so the lockers we can inspect them. This facility is pleased to announce that starting this week, all Fridays will now be casual Fridays. Please enjoy the clinically proven de-stressing benefits of having of casual attire by wearing your favorite t-shirt to the lab. Note, all personnel found on facility premises without regulation and full body protection will be put on immediate notice. Thank you and have fun. <laughs> so you get casual Fridays. You can wear you can wear the casual stuff, but then be put on notice. <laughs> Let's rummage through it and find out what happens. Somebody rummage through it. Now stop cleaning the floor and rummage through the locker. Oh, sweet. That's a snazzy suit. That's awesome. Let's put that on, uh, let's see. Let's put it on Jack. <laughs> so Jack, our, our resident house cleaner. Yeah, same same thing when you check them all. The cool vest. And what do we get in this last one? Oh, wait, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it'll be the one for hot people. That was pretty sweet. Another snazzy suit. Oh, score. Okay, so those are wicked. Uh, they are fantastic for positive decor benefits. Uh, let's throw this one at critical people again. Okay, so we've got two people running around with snazzy suits now. That's amazing. Uh, let's lock this door, though. Uh, would you people please stop going out there? Let's turn off... Uh, where are we here? We turn off auto disinfect. They'll come back in. And then we can lock this crazy door. Go, go, go lock the door. Close the door. There we go. Now no one will go back out there. Now I can turn back on my auto disinfect again. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. We got two suits. Oh, and look, we actually do have a brain machine up here. So we can make a duplicate happier. Um, now I just lock the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Let me check my locker settings. I want to make sure I don't have any slime in here. We don't. Okay, that's good. Did I even dig any? I don't think I did. You should put the last suit of clothing in a storage locker. <laughs> it was just in a storage locker. <laughs> we'll just leave it on the floor. That way I know where it's there. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, can we even sweep it? No, I guess we can. But the thing is, if I put it in a storage locker, I'll never remember that it's there. Like, no chance. Um, I want to put something on the brain machine. So I'm going to put this back on auto. And let's let's dig out over here. Actually, we can get some mushroom spores while we're in here, too. Some gold amalgam. This is going to be really bad. I'm going to get people sick here. This is <laughs> this is, this is not good decision-making on my part, but I just I just want to mess around with the... With the uh, I want to mess around with the ruins. Look, we've already let slime lung into the colony. That's so bad. It's everywhere. Wow. That went quick. Good times. Because I've let little pockets of, of uh, polluted oxygen here. I, I really need to get my door on this thing. Uh, go like this. Perfect. Nailed it. Uh, I'm going to put two storage containers out here specifically for slime. That way anything to dig up out here will leave out here for now. Okay, I'll set these for organic. No, i got to dig up the slime before I can actually do it. Oh, wait a minute. Did I just grab algae? I think I might have just put polluted algae in my... Oh, no, maybe not. All right, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I'm worried that we might actually put polluted algae into um, into the, the algae deoxidizers and spread wonderfulness everywhere. Why can't I get the slime on here? Come on. Did I not touch a single piece of slime? That's sweet. Oh. Create a little landfill in there, so we're gonna block off a couple plants. Man, it's crazy. Yeah, the mushrooms are awesome, so we'll definitely use the mushrooms to make a little mushroom farm, because they, they produce awesome calories. Uh, using an update because I have not been able to play this version, what do you think of it with these new changes? I actually really like the update. It took a little bit of getting used to because you kind of have to pay a lot of attention to more stuff. So, so normally you would expand. Plants have died. 
Oh, because they were buried. Um, normally, you, you would expand into the swamp biomes a lot earlier, but now it's full of all this wonderful German disease that can actually make your duplicates dead. <laughs> um, so you kind of have to be a little bit more strategic about how you do stuff. Actually, there's not even all that, that much disease in here because these... It seems like wherever these little, little lab things are... Um, they seem to be relatively clear of disease, which is good. Which means that I can I can harvest the gold amalgam that's out here and use it for building. Without creating too many issues. Now they're breathing it in, and as they run back and forth out of, in and out of here, they're actually breathing in the breathing in the germs. Uh, if I was smart, I would put a wash station out here too. So let's do that. So at least they'll wash their hands when they run by here. There shall be excellent food. That's right. Roasted roasted mushrooms. Okay, and we need to put somebody on this thing. So who should we put on here? I feel like... I, should we put Jack on there? Because Jack's going to be miserable with all that cleaning. Just showered has the highest... Uh, let's put... Jack's dealing with all the disease and stuff. So he's going to get unhappy. So let's put Jack on the machine. Fascinating that memories are not already in inherent in our subjects. However, none as of yet show signs of recognition when introduced to familiar stimuli. Refer to experiment 7D and 7F. Memories must be embedded physically within the brain maps of our subjects. The only questions remain how to... Blah, blah, blah. How do I get... Okay, he's already assigned. Okay, so let's get Jack out there. Jack is wasted on such technology. <laughs> But it only just makes them happy anyway. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. All right, then we got Jack strapped in. He's getting jolted. Chocobon bot. Today, duplicates can suffer from the greater good of discovery. <laughs> okay, so this should be all ready to go. Complete the neural process. Woo, Jack Candace's brain is still vibing, vibrating, but they've never felt better. Jack Candace acquired the sunny disposition trait, which reduces their stress by 20% per cycle, which is really handy. Pessimist trait. Is there a pessimist trait? I haven't seen one. Every one I've gotten so far has been the uh, the sunny disposition. Which I'm not complaining too much about. Um, why are my mealwood seeds not planted here? Replant. There we go. Sweet. All right, so we... Oh, come on, people. Get out of here. Let's turn off the auto disinfect again. We'll get everybody out of here. And we'll lock the door. And we'll leave this sealed until I'm ready to deal with the germs a little bit better. Because this is not exactly the best setup at the moment. Uh, lastly, we'll dig out this. So we can finish our walls. And then I'll have a place that I can do my bottle emptier. So that's in plumbing. I'm going to stick it over here, I guess. Rock crusher trait? I haven't seen any other traits other than sunny disposition. Jack's a happy janitor. That's right. I figure if we're going to send him in all the germy, dirty places, he's probably going to be the one that's going to get unhappy the fastest. Super Diver Lungs and have seen a strength one. Oh, that's cool. I've only seen Sunny Disposition, so it'd be nice to kind of find some of those. And he's got a snazzy suit also. He's going to be like the ultimate happy duplicate. We can send him into the worst cesspools to clean, and he'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> he'll be more than happy to do our grunt work. It's, it's going to be great. Rock Crusher gives 10 strength to the first best for delivery boys. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. One of your statues is buried in sand. Oh, you're right, it is. No, we've entombed a statue. We can't do that. I wonder if that stops it from producing positive decor when you entomb it. Interesting. Research is almost done, and then we can finally destroy our research machines, which will save us a little bit of power. Uh, there are four traits. Deeper divers, long sunny disposition, rock crusher, and regenerative. None of them are bad. <laughs> you think it should fix that? So, like, you could randomly get a bad trait. You hook your guy up to the machine and you just accidentally get something you weren't expecting. <laughs> Have a good night, Irland. Thanks for coming and checking out the stream. We only entombed each other. Well, we've entombed a few people tonight. Man, oh man. Future train wreck indeed. Tell me that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, let's build a little airflow tile over... Oh, how did I do that? That's weird. Normally I do floors that are four high, but I didn't do that this time. We'll do it this way, though. So I can dig all that stuff out. Uh, I'm probably going to do my mushroom farm down bottom here, I would think. 
my only issue is we have this little pocket of carbon dioxide I've trapped over in the corner now because I have I'm producing oxygen in this space, so the pressure kind of expands out from here and it's pushing the CO2 into this corner, and not allowing it to settle down below here. Um, that's going to eventually back up so it floods into our bathroom space. So I might end up having to put a pump over here to pump out the. Uh... Oh, good! It's an old. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack there. I was like, wait a minute. I see a notation about another dead duplicate, but it's actually the one from THD. I just didn't clear it. Man. <laughs> that a total brain fart for a minute. I was like, no, wait, no, don't tell me there's another dead one. Not another dead one. Uh, they do need slime, yep. So, um, now the nice thing is when you put the slime in the in the planter, it doesn't seem to, um, doesn't seem to create any polluted, uh, polluted oxygen, which is good. Uh, is there a time limit on donations? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. You mean like on the super chat things? Like a, when you when you make a super chat, it puts uh, it puts a little notification at the top, and depending on the dollar amount that was donated, it stays there for a certain amount of time. So so larger donations hang around for a longer period. I drink my bleach. I am good, thanks. I'd rather not drink your bleach though. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> What are they making all the noise about? Is it the duplicates or is it the unrefrigerated food? Oh, we got a mess over here. I need to put a little deodorizer over here because we probably got a little bit of slime lung hanging out. Oh, actually, it died off pretty quick. So the nice thing with slime lung is it doesn't handle fresh oxygen well. So if you have it in a space that doesn't have polluted oxygen, it dies off relatively quickly. And that little bit that we brought in with us has already died off. Down here, though, that's not looking pretty. <laughs> Look at all the polluted germs down there. Uh, the stream is ending soon. I think when this when this cycle ends, I'm going to call it a wrap to the stream for tonight. Never tried streaming, but it should be a very a bit dirty. It's actually, sometimes I don't play as well when I'm streaming as I do when I'm not streaming. Because it's like paying attention to the chat and stuff is slightly distracting. Although that's no excuse for the duplicates dying off. That was just silliness. At least two of them, though. I feel like they did it to themselves. Caitlin entombed herself in the one space over on the side and I didn't see it soon enough. And then TED, I had a chance to dig them out, but they kept jumping off the block I was trying to dig out from underneath them. This colony I just started tonight. We had another colony going that I played a couple times, but uh, we were still kind of figuring out... Um, still kind of figuring out, like, the different mechanism stuff with the new update. It was my first time trying it out. Uh, so I figured, now that we've had a chance to explore, explore a little bit more and figure out how the mechanisms and stuff work, I wanted to start a new colony. Let you see the brain machine. We just use the brain machine. Once it's used, it's done. You can't use it again. But this is it here. Gave us a sunny disposition. Or gave Jack a sunny disposition anyway. Put a floor on the bottom of your water tank to keep the slime out. Uh, you don't actually don't really even need to. So, well, actually, it, it got entombed. So it, the when I dug the, the sand out from up here, it buried it in for me all, all by itself. <laughs> Now, this, um, the slime lung that's in here, slime lung doesn't survive in water, so it won't spread into this. Even though it's sitting right there. Actually, if I went and dug this out, I'd, I'd create a scenario where I would take the slime lung into my colony when they clean up the pieces they cut up. So I'm actually better just leaving it sitting there, because it won't, it won't expand from there. The stream in that cryptic clocks, so we know when it ends. But I'm bump. There's an endless number of cryptic puns you could make. Drown the hatch? Yeah, probably will. That's okay. Not a lot we can do about that. It takes a while for this bottle emptier to actually... Uh, I'm ready to actually use this now. Set this up for polluted water so they can finally clean up the mess that I left over by this sink. And they can get it out of there so we stop creating polluted oxygen, which is good. Uh, this will keep it all kind of contained in this one little area. And with the uh, deodorizers I have set up here, any polluted oxygen they create... Um, should uh, should get cleaned up, so we'll get some, keep some clean oxygen at the top here. It'll take a while for this to, for this little hatch to drown. Like to get enough liquid in there, it's, it would take a ton. Cryptic Crocs. <laughs> All the merchandising opportunities. <laughs> it's a cryptic sales event. Everything about me must go. When did I use the brain machine? Um, maybe ten minutes ago. I, I, I want to say we put uh, Jack Cantus on there and we gave him uh, Sunny Disposition. Cryptic socks. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Kazi. We'll have to market cryptic socks. 
But that polluted oxygen, it dies off on its own, so getting rid of polluted oxygen does the job indirectly. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. So this, um, the polluted germs that I'll end up keeping down here, at some point I'll heat up this water and we'll kill it off so we can recycle it. But I'm going to let the water build up down there for a little while, because it's... It takes a long time with the bottle emptier, I find, when you're just draining it from the sinks and stuff. Um, I would like to ultimately build showers and stuff here, and then I'll probably change these over to lavatories so that we're just producing polluted water instead. And then that will fill this up a little bit quicker and give me a better incentive to kind of swap it over and get it cleaned up so we can recycle it. Thanks, Andrew Lambrus. Oh no, slime lung. Who's got slime lungs? I think everybody's fine. We we uh, we dug into it a little bit, but um, they were only out there for a short amount of time, so nobody really got any great degree of exposure. Uh, oh, I wanted to get some more of this bleach stone. Get all this stuff, uh, which means I'm gonna need more ladder. The only prescription is more cowbell. Oh, look at that! We found a geyser. Yeah, sweet. That is gonna come in handy. Okay, so we have a chlorine geyser, we have a natural gas geyser. Still no steam geyser yet, but at least we have uh, we have two of the geysers that we're going to need. Oh, look, there's more ruins up here. Holy, this place is... Actually, this is one I saw before, but it's just a lot bigger than I thought. Sweet. All right, all our duplicates are sleeping. I think I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. Uh, the colony's grown relatively okay, but man, was this a, a prophetic name for a colony. The, fu the future train wreck, and boy was it ever. We ended up with a total of four duplicates that died. Mind you, I reset after the first nastiness. <laughs> so we, uh, we backed that one up a little bit, and we kind of restarted it again, and then I promptly killed another person. But um, overall, I mean, it's growing fairly well. We've got the germs under control. Uh, despite the fact I peed in the water down here, and we'll have to clean up those germs, the, the food poisoning germs are really not much of a risk in this game. It's really the slime lung you really have to be careful of, so I'll, I'll take more care with that as we dig up more into the slime territories. Um, I only dug into this point just to get to these two, uh, these two ruins that are out here, but then we're gonna leave the slime, the slime area alone for a while. If I expand next, we'll probably go up, on the next stream, we'll go up and get this ruin that's up here, uh, because I can go up here without any risk of germs. Um, I'd like to tap into the chlorine geyser that we have down here, so we can use that uh, for making airlocks and also for uh, filling in this um, little storage area with some uh, some stuff to kind of keep all the the uh, the germs out of that space. Uh, and then eventually we're going to get down here to the point where we're going to tap into this gas geyser for energy. But it's far enough below here that I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it in the near future. Instead, I'll probably start off with coal power generation, and uh, we'll make use of that and deal with the, the chlorine. And look at that. The, the sky is broken. <laughs> I'm broken oxygen in my base. But thanks everyone for checking out the stream. Uh, there'll probably be the next stream for Oxygen Not Included will probably be next Tuesday. Um, the next stream for the channel will be on Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I might splice in another, another night for streaming if I want to play another game. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to play on Thursday just yet. I have to figure that out. I'd still like to, to try and stream some escapist too at some point we can do like a multiplayer game of that maybe uh, but thanks everyone for checking out the stream uh, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel then consider clicking on the subscribe button and then make sure you hit the little notification bell so you get notifications of all the new videos and streams i do hope you enjoy this but uh, i'm as always cryptic fox thanks everyone for coming i will see all of you next time